Hi, this is Jeff Howald. Today we will show you how to improvise using three licks, two G licks and one C lick. After learning these, we will be playing and demonstrating them in two different songs, Will the Circle Be Unbroken and Nine Pound Hammer. We will be using the easy beginner arrangements to these songs that are on freebanjovideos.com. You know, I just got an email from a banjo player columnist that has been teaching for years and he said that most beginning to intermediate players want to learn hot lead breaks that are beyond their technical ability. The quickest way to heat up your playing without having to learn a new song is to insert a new or hot lick into your current break or solo. By doing this, you can focus your attention on one lick instead of a whole song. Let's show you how this works and start the process by learning the three licks. Now would be a good time to print out the music which comes with this lesson. Here is what the three licks sound like. We will now show you both G licks. Here is the first G lick. Okay, that's lick one. Lick two is similar except it starts with the slide. which gives it a whole different feel. So let's do that again. Here's lick one. One, two, three, four. Here's lick two. And just make sure when you play that fifth note, which is the first and the third string, just get that real clear. And remember, that's held for two beats. That was lick two, and here's lick one. Here is the C lick. Okay, this C lick is a two major lick and it starts with a standard C position and you only have to note the first and the second strings. Second string first fret with the left hand index finger, first string second fret with the ring finger. And here's how it works, so you go left, And when we do the pull off, we actually pull down. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. And you'll find this C lick's actually more advanced than the two G licks we've just learned, but it's a really powerful and a very percussive lick. We will now play Will the Circle Be Unbroken? as it appears in the Easy Beginners lesson on freebanjovideos.com. Look at the tablature for Will the Circle Be Unbroken. You will notice the three optional licks that we have just learned written underneath measures 1, 5, 6, and 9. We will now play Will the Circle using these licks. We will now play Will the Circle Be Unbroken using the licks we just learned with the metronome at two speeds. One, two, three.
One, two, three. You will notice that the addition of these three new licks significantly changes the solo. To further show the effect of adding new licks to your current songs, let's put two of the licks we just learned in 9 pound hammer. Here is the beginner version to 9 pound hammer as it appears in freebanjovideos.com. One, two, three. Here it is with the two new licks that are written under measures 1, 3, and 4. Before I play this, I want to mention when you play 9 pound hammer, you play the eight measures that we're playing two times. Now that you repeat it, we're just going to play it one time though. So here we go 1, 2, 3. We will now play 9 pound hammer using the licks we just learned with the metronome at two different speeds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, that's it for this lesson. Hopefully, you can learn to use the licks that we learned today in other songs. We have four premium download lessons called Jeff's Favorite Licks that show you how to learn licks and use them in different songs to add power and fun to your playing. The first two lessons show G licks, the third lesson shows how to vary a C lick, and the fourth shows different D licks. There are also three G licks lessons that show you how to use G licks both up and down the neck and how to create other chords with these positions. Learning the principles in these lessons will make your playing more interesting and fun. It will also dramatically increase your ability to make up solos for new songs quickly. Well, that's it for today. Good luck. This is Jeff Howald.